short and english high speed 200 words per minute trial dictation for 2 minutes 15 seconds left 10 seconds left 5 seconds left begin ladies and gentlemen it is a privilege for me to meet our citizens living in this country i thank the people of your country for a reception and for inviting me to address this august gathering today it is my first visit after assuming office as the president i have been impressed by the love and affection of the people in this country i have no doubt that our people overseas have helped in building relations all over the world it is a matter of satisfaction that this is more so in your case it may not be out of place if i say that you have been at the center of the relations between our two countries. On this occasion, I would like to record that I find here Indians from different walks of life coming from all parts of the country. As teachers, you have made a great service to this country. As traders, you have given a lot of opportunities for employment for the locals. As industrialists, you have been able to improve investment in this country as a whole. In other words, I would like to say that the connection between our people is becoming closer. I am aware that there has been very great relations between our two countries since a long time. In the last century, traders from the western part of the country came and settled here. They have later become citizens here. I believe that in this gathering, there might be members who belong to such families. I am happy to note that with your hard work and dedication, you have earned a place of respect in this country. It is a matter of great satisfaction that even though you are living abroad, you have been able to retain all our traditions over the years. Friends, in respect of our relations in the last few years, it is true that we have seen a lot of improvement. I would like to state that all this has been possible only due to the valuable support we have received from the Indian community here. Your engagement with the local people has been complete. As a matter of fact, Indian films and cricket have caught the imagination of the people here. It is gratifying to see that our traditions are practiced widely in this country. On this occasion, I think it is necessary for me to highlight the fact that this is a land of music and dance much like our own country. Short and English high speed 200 words per minute Code number of question paper 1076 1076 Candidates should take down the following passage in short hand and transcribe it into long hand verbatim. At the end of the time allowed for transcription, both their short hand and long hand performances should be fastened together and given to the superintendent. 10 marks are reserved for their short hand performance. Handwriting during transcription should be legible and sufficient space should be left between lines. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds left. 5 seconds left. Begin. Ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, I would like to convey my best wishes to all officer trainees of the Indian Police Service and Forest Service. It is my considered opinion that you all deserve high praise for your merit through which you have got into this service. I will cherish my memories of this visit to your academies. We are having this unified country of India largely due to the effort of Sri Sardar Patel, popularly called the Iron Man of India. In my opinion, if you remain committed to pursuing his dreams, I have no doubt that you can make immense contribution to the development of the country as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, this academy has been making a great contribution for several decades by turning out leaders for the Indian police. When the country is celebrating the 75th year of our independence, the nation remembers the rich contribution made by our police force in strengthening the world's largest democracy. The Indian police has also made its huge contribution in preserving the unity of the country. At the same time, we must not lose sight of the fact that thousands of brave policemen have laid down their lives for the cause of India's internal security. 
on this occasion i offer my humble salute to those brave men it was a very touching experience for me when i came here this morning to pay respect to those men i once again salute the memory of the police officers who sacrificed their lives while on duty in this connection i would like to bring a few things to the consideration of the probationers who have gathered here as a matter of fact our colonial past and habits still affect many aspects of governance in the country you have to remember the fact that the colonial powers developed a police system in india which was based on fear among the citizens you will agree that the police is the most visible organ of the government it is a matter of satisfaction that the police force commands the trust of the people even now as a result of this it improves upon the image of the government i would like to bring to your attention that police will continue to command respect only if you display alertness and honesty on this occasion i want to remind you that right from the beginning of your career you will be in a leadership role it is well known that the quality of your leadership will determine the success of the force led by you it is needless to say that your actions will touch upon the lives of thousands of ordinary people as you are aware the duties and responsibilities of your force are becoming complex the detection of crime and upholding the rule of law are becoming difficult in the last few years cyber crimes have become a new challenge to the police it is therefore necessary that the police force should also use the latest technology their trainees in the first place the police has to become partners in the progress of the country at large i have to point out that real growth is possible in a democracy only if it is inclusive by that word i mean the inclusion of the most deprived persons in the society their interests should also be your priority while honesty and competence are very important it has to be borne in mind that the police should be sensitive to the voiceless people i would like to point out that police presence is there in all parts of the country everything that you do big or small will be known to everyone it is therefore necessary that you should have compassion and earn the love and support of the common people in my opinion the criminals must tremble at the thought of the police at the same time the common people should look at you as a friend i am happy that more and more women are participating in our democratic process i am glad to see that we have a large number of women officers here it is a matter of great satisfaction that women have become stronger in all walks of life at the same time we see that there is increase in crimes against women i am sorry to state that this is a blot on our society it is necessary that we must ensure the safety of every girl at all times and we must protect the dignity of women at all costs ladies and gentlemen i now turn to the officers of the indian forest service in my opinion you are the guardians of our rich and diverse forest wealth at the same time you are also the protectors of the communities living there as you are aware india is one of the top 10 countries as far as forest cover is concerned as we all know forests are the anchors for all life on earth they are home to many rare species of the world i would like to bring to your attention that the forests in india are more diverse as a matter of fact products derived from the forest support the life of about 20 crore people in india i would like to point out that nearly 80% of our medicinal plants are from the forest finally i would like to say that tribal communities have a close relationship with the welfare of the forest it is absolutely necessary that they must be protected at all costs i think you will agree that it is your task to make them aware of their rights and duties only then we would be able to protect diversity of plants and animals it gives me great pleasure to have spent time with police and forest officers at the same time and i convey my wishes for your bright future with these words i conclude my speech